Praise the Lord, His mercy is more, stronger than darkness, new every morn. Our sins, they are many, His mercy is more. Praise the Lord, His mercy is more, stronger than darkness, new every morn. Our sins, they are many, His mercy is more. Praise the Lord, His mercy is more. Stronger than darkness, new every morn. Our sins, they are many, His mercy is more. What a powerful story in our gospel of the mercy of Jesus Christ. Think about that gospel story. Familiar, well known. All of us at one moment stand in the center. All of us at one moment stand outside, and every single one of us always need God's mercy. To the first reading this morning from the prophet Isaiah, it is God every day who is trying to make all things new, make us, make our world new. And the way to make things new, holier, better, is the way of mercy. Think about that gospel. So first and foremost, it is clearly a story that every sin can be forgiven. Amen? Amen. By a merciful and compassionate God. Secondly, we, like that woman, have a choice. St. Paul says we are really good about, quote unquote, holding on to our rubbish. That's literally the word he uses. And who among us doesn't have something that we regret from two, ten, or a hundred years ago? And we can hold on to that rubbish, or we can choose Jesus Christ. That's our second reading. And the more we choose Jesus Christ and his mercy, the more we will be ever fresh, ever new, forgiven. And the woman is a powerful reminder that we can allow our identity to be carved out by a sin of the past. Or we can allow our identity to be carved out and claimed as forgiven and redeemed by Jesus Christ. And ultimately, there is a moment that we all stand in the middle And there are many moments, probably even many more, that we stand outside. Amen? And if God can be so merciful and forgiving to us, how do we choose to arm ourselves, not with stones, but with mercy, compassion, forgiveness, Jesus Christ? Because the reading from Isaiah profoundly proclaims that every day God wants to make all things new. God wants to show us a more excellent way, the way of mercy. As we walk into the week, how do you need to experience the the mercy and the forgiveness of Christ? What are the stones that you need to let go of, or to use St. Paul, the rubbish that you've held on to, which you'd be much more, much more alive, much more holy, much more healthy if you chose Jesus Christ instead of holding on to the rubbish. This coming Friday and next Sunday, Friday at 1 o'clock and Sunday at 6 o'clock, There will be an opportunity for the sacrament of reconciliation. Why is that so important? Because much like the woman, it's in the moment of encounter that we can ritualize and know, clearly know, the mercy, the forgiveness that is Jesus Christ. And thirdly, 
Every one of us know somebody that needs God's tender mercy in their life. Every one of us knows somebody, amen? How do we invite them to join us? How do we invite them to come to the font of mercy, Jesus Christ? You can invite them to join you for Palm Sunday or Easter. You can invite them to join you for confession on Friday or Sunday. You can invite them to hear the song that we've been singing all through the Lenten season. Praise the Lord, his mercy is more, stronger than darkness, new every morn. Our sins, they are many, his mercy is more.